weaving. It all starts here. From a single thread, we are able to create the toughest hoses in the industry. It's a complex mechanical process, but it's the people behind the machines that keep everything running smoothly. Rows upon rows of creels are set up to continuously feed the looms directly overhead. The creels, designed by Snaptide itself, prevent thread from overlapping or tangling. This ensures that everything is fed neatly into the looms above. When a creel is close to running out of thread, all the spools on it are replaced. Using square knots, workers attach thread from the old spools to thread from the new spools. Above, loom operators maintain constant vigilance over the machinery to make sure everything continues to run without a hitch. When the knots from the creel below make it to the loom, they are cut out and the thread is fed back into the loom. This whole process is known as ganging and it can take several hours. When the warp yarn from the creels reaches the loom, it is woven together with the weft yarn from bobbins located in the center of the machine. When a bobbin begins to run low on thread, the loom must be stopped so that a new bobbin can be inserted. Thankfully, storage units filled with extra weft yarn bobbins are conveniently located nearby. The bobbin is carefully replaced and the thread is spliced back together. It's an important part of the process, but loom operators make it look easy. Weft and warp yarn woven together make the jacket. Once the jacket reaches its desired length, it is cut and the jacket details are logged. A small portion of the jacket is removed to be burst tested and the rest of the jacket is sent off to be inspected. Used bobbins are then carted off to be rewound with new yarn the bobbins are organized very clearly by color so that the ply remains consistent. Used bobbins go through a rewind process so that no thread goes to waste. In the lab, a portion of the jacket will undergo something known as a burst test. The jacket is coupled, placed in a burst tank, and filled with pressurized water until it bursts. We ensure that all of our hose meets or surpasses pressure standards per NFPA guidelines. Over at inspection, the jacket is fed through a workbench so that the top and the bottom of the hose can be examined by touch and by sight. The jacket is wrapped around wheels, which are controlled by a pedal underneath the workbench. If a defect is found, the inspector marks the flawed area with tape, in this case, a broken string. As you can see, the mender seamlessly cuts, weaves, and sews the thread back in, all without damaging the jacket at all. It's like it never happened. The jacket is then placed on carts for the material handler, who will ensure that the jacket arrives safely at its destination and the next step of the process.